In this video, we'll balance the equation with sodium hypochlorite and hydrochloric acid and talk about why mixing these two chemicals found in some household cleaners is so dangerous. So first, let's balance the equation by counting up the atoms on each side. We have one sodium, we have one chlorine, one oxygen, and actually we have one plus this one here. We have two chlorines, be careful there, one oxygen and hydrogens, one hydrogen. On the product side, we have one sodium, and then we have the one chlorine, and we actually have the two chlorines here, so two plus the one, three chlorine atoms, one oxygen, and two hydrogens. Let's start by balancing the hydrogens. We have two here and one here. So we could put a coefficient of two in front of the HCl. So we have one times the two. That gives us two, so we balance the hydrogens. But we do need to update the chlorines because this too applies to everything here. So we have our one chlorine here, plus we have our one times two, so two chlorines. And there we go, three chlorines. So this equation is balanced. The reason this chemical reaction is so dangerous, this is bleach, a household cleaner. And you'll also find hydrochloric acid in household cleaners, notably in toilet bowl cleaners. So when these two are mixed, we have this reaction here and we end up with chlorine gas. There actually are a few smaller reactions in between this, but the overall reaction here has chlorine gas, and Cl2 gas is very much an irritant to your lungs. In fact, if you have concentrations that are large enough, it'll cause real damage to your lungs, and it's possible that this chlorine gas here, if the concentration is great enough, could kill you. So I guess the lesson is if you're using a sodium hypochlorite, this is a bleach with chlorine in it, just don't mix it with any other household cleaners. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.